Hi everyone, Olivia Reiner here for Packers News, joined by Ryan Wood, and today we are taking a look at the secondary of the 2019 Packers roster. So the safety position saw a pretty big overhaul in the offseason with the addition of Adrian Amos from Chicago and Darnell Savage Jr. out of the draft. So how do you see those two guys sort of gelling together in Mike Pettin's defense? Well, first of all, they're starters and not just Adrian Amos, it was just obvious, but Darnell Savage has gotten like every single first team rep this spring. So there's no there's no indecision there. He, he's the guy. And look, you know, I've talked to several times with Adrian Amos about, you know, the, the, the fit with, with another safety, specifically Darnell Savage, and he said, you know, he's interchangeable, he can do both, the free, uh, rangy kind of center field guy, and then drop into the box. He, they can say what they want. Adrian Amos is going to play a lot close to the line of scrimmage. He's going to be your, your classic strong safety. He's going to be run support, making plays close to the football. And Darnell Savage Jr., who started out at college as a corner, has 4-3-6 speed, has really good athleticism and ball instincts uh, on the back end, is going to be your your rangy kind of center fielder. I mean, they, they built that safety group just this offseason. They, they, they built it basically overnight. Uh, to complement each other. And that's not to say, you know, the Packers are always going to have their safeties know the other side and, and the strong safety is going to know how to play free and vice versa. But you've got a classic strong, you've got a classic free. And I think you're going to see those two guys play those roles and, and probably play them well because they're, they're, they're both comfortable in those roles. I think the question is going to be more on Darnell Savage Jr. as a rookie transitioning to this league. Coverage in general, especially on the back end, when you're the lone guy can be very unforgiving. So how does he handle that? I think that's the big question. Uh, but they, they like his physical tools, and there's been a lot, a, a lot of praise he, uh, upon a really young player before he's really even done anything uh, this during this offseason program. So um, uh, th there's there's a lot of work with there. So we know that the four locks at corner for this upcoming season are Tremont Williams, Jair Alexander, Kevin King, Josh Jackson. But behind those guys. What's there? What is the depth at the cornerback position? Well, you're right. It's a four-man position right now. And typically you like to have at least five, probably six at corner, especially because those bottom-of-the-depth chart corners help you in special teams as well. So that's a position, like receiver on the other side of the ball, where you can really fill out with special teamers and, and have depth there on defense. Uh, it's pretty clear if you pay attention this offseason that, that, that during the spring portion that they, they really are, are thrusting Tony Brown and Kadar Holman into those spots. That's not to say that those two are going to hold those spots and retain those spots throughout camp, but they're getting first dips. I mean, they, they've both been, they've, you know, Tony Brown has come in pretty early with the first group to, to when they gone to nickel. Uh, Kadar Holman hasn't been far behind. Um, and if they are able to lock that down, then we're talking about taking a four-man group to a six-man group. It fills it out. Now, there's some guys behind them that uh, are going to have something to say about that. Brian Gudikin signed a lot of corners um, through the college free agent market uh, and, and obviously drafted Cartier Holman in uh, the later rounds. But that, that's what the way it's looked this spring. And if they're able to continue that through, throughout camp, uh, then you've got a six-man group. All right, some interesting storylines to keep an eye on as we head into training camp and the Packers begin the 2019 season. Guys, make sure you're checking out PackersNews.com for all of our other position previews. Also, make sure you're following us on social media for more updates throughout the offseason. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you next time.